In the introduction to this program, I talked about how the first part of the menu should tell you as much about the restaurant and the flavors as the second part of the menu, the bigger portions. And that's definitely the case here where we are at Local Catch on 30A. We sat down with the co-owners to hear how they go about achieving that. We wanted to provide a place that had uh, local produce, uh, local seafood, local artwork, local musicians for the people traveling here and the locals alike mm -hmm. to be able to come here and experience and we were able to feature that. Yeah. Have our local musicians on Sundays mm -hmm. play at Sunday Fun Day from 4 to 7 p.m. which really helps us you know target the, the group that we want which is anyone down here who wants to enjoy the local flair and the local things that this, this region has to offer. Great and the food that we're gonna see in a moment and hear from the chef about. Yeah. For Local Catch, you know, we set out to do, serve fine dining food on kind of the common advanced level, so pull boys, tacos, you know, to do fine dining techniques really takes, you know, no extra money. It just takes a little effort. effort. So uh, we are in a great region to serve fresh seafood. We have great produce, um, and we like to combine that with what we're doing here. So, you know, like our ceviche, we use green tomatoes with grouper because we think it represents two of the really great ingredients that we have in this area. And I think, you know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. We use a lot of flavor profiles, you know, that have been used for time and time again. We're just trying to put our own spin on it. Great. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to taste it. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming today. Chef Adam applies the Asian philosophy that every dish should have a balance of flavors. You'll find this in bacon-wrapped fried houdat shrimp, tossed in sweet and spicy gastrique, that's a vinegar-based sauce, it's all pulled together and contrasted with crunchy fresh cabbage salad and homemade pickled green beans. This crab cake of local jumbo lump blue crab with just a little pepper and green onion is finished with crystal beurre blanc right at the end to keep that crunchy coating intact. Any of these first three dishes paired with a cocktail, wine, or beer could suffice as a light meal that's also a complete dining experience. These nachos, though, are more than enough for one or great to share and showcase what this kitchen strives for. It's pork seasoned overnight, seared, and then braised in beer and beef stock, kind of a Louisiana barbecue technique. It's served with pickled jalapenos and pico de gallo, white sauce, and hot sauce that are all created in-house. There's the same kind of minute attention to every component in the blackened fish taco topped with pico de gallo made lovingly every day and in the mile four salad with that same pico de gallo as well as a pineapple salsa that together really suffice as dressing and they both provide a light, fresh, tart contrast to the grilled fish. I really like how they take certain key flavors and key ingredients and just work them through the menu in different ways not going out too far in any one direction, just keeping a really solid statement about their food. It really works, it's fresh, it's delicious, it's simple, and it's the kind of thing you can come back for over and over again and get a lot in a small plate. We've got more great dining coming up at my next pick. I'll see you in a moment.